Good morning, guys. Welcome to Fishbowl Thinker. I appreciate you joining us. I'm Chad Lachance. This is Jeff Wagner. This is Sterling Reservoir, and we are fly fishing for carp today. Now, if you're a regular fan of the show, you might recognize this guy because he was on the show before, I think seven or eight, eight years ago, we did this very same show. You guys bombed us with emails and all that. Well, a lot has changed in that time frame, but a lot hasn't. He's gotten better at fly fishing for <laughs> carp, he writes articles about it. This is his gig, his boat set up for it. What do you expect out of our day? Well, I'm hoping that early in the morning we can catch some open water fish and then later in the day we'll catch some cruisers along the bank, but should be pretty, some pretty good numbers, I hope, but we'll see. It's fly we'll fishing, see. right? We'll see how that goes, guys. We're just getting started. It's first thing in the morning. There's fish all around us, so get comfortable. It should be fun. Fishful Thinker is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. Gear up for unforgettable. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Abu Garcia, fish to win. Lawrence. Find, navigate, dominate. All right, guys, so first thing in the morning, and uh, Jeff's like, we need to make hay while the sun's shining, and you can see just a little bit of dimpling on the surface, and you say those are all carp. They are all carp. And they're just barely dimpling. There's one right there. So the whole point of keeping that line in the air is just to keep yourself ready? Yeah, I'm just prepping for whenever they change direction and we start to see a fish. Okay. And guys, I'm gonna do a lot of watching today. Like I said, I've got a bum elbow, and so I'm gonna do a whole lot of learning today, more than I am anything else. This guy is an incredible fly caster, so we'll see what happens. You can see all their heads, they're poking up kind of all over the place. Oh yeah, there's some right there. Yeah. Oh, right in front of the boat. Yeah. Okay, fly goes in real. What are you throwing for a fly? This is a swimming leech. So it's a purple and black swimming leech. And how big is it? This is a, about a size 10. Okay. Oh, God. oh, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> you got a carp to actually jump. <laughs> this guy's no joke, guys. When we introduced this Jeff Wagner before, we did this, what is it, eight years ago we did this? Uh, it doesn't seem like that long Seven ago. Seven years ago, something. it was a long time ago. And I got schooled that day, and uh, and I came along today to get a to get a class with you guys. Now, what weight of rod are you throwing? This is an eight. You can throw a six. You can throw a nine. When these fish are in open water like this, it doesn't matter as much. But now, did you feel him bite? Or did you uh, see no, him bite? So this is all visual. So okay. almost everything we do here is seeing the fish. It's all sight casting. And you're actually watching for the mouth to open. Okay. And as soon as they suck it in and close on it is when we're setting the hook. So it's uh, very visual. Well, guys, he made that look easy. I mean, however this looks editing-wise, that was like his third or fourth presentation to a fish. Boat hasn't moved at all. And just like that, we're hooked to one who's now dragging your little boat in circles. <laughs> and uh, I want to point out, this boat's got some custom features, which is why we're in his boat instead of my big ranger. Now, what do you got for a leader on here? It's a 9 foot 0 X fluorocarbon. It is fluoro. Okay. Yeah. So you're using that to help pull your fly down some. For sure. Yeah. I mean, every, almost everything we're doing is about 6 to 18 inches under the surface. Okay. <clears throat> and so, you know, even... I'm using a floating line now, but might switch to an intermediate sink later, clear gotcha. line. But gotcha. <clears throat> well, you're getting, you're getting your string pulled. <laughs> Got him, just like that. And we are on the board, guys, and the sun's right there. And that's a very average fish for here. Totally. Actually, it's on the small side. It's on the small side. Well, he's willing, good, he's willing to admit that. You can put him back. We don't <laughs> need to hold him out. Dude, this guy right here, uh, I think that's a... Uh, nice job. So Jeff and I, some quick backstory. We've competed in fly in, in uh, casting accuracy contests as a team several times in the past with reasonable success. I'll point out because he's my fly guy. This guy can put a fly wherever it needs to go at any point, and that's a key part of this. Totally uh, accuracy. Accuracy is the deal, right? Which is the contest that he and I do. I'm the conventional guy. He's the fly guy, and then we've got to cast the other one's equipment. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's better at fly casting than about anybody you're ever going to see. 
And that's, I mean, accuracy here is the key. We're not having to cast far, you know, right, right. 15 to 30 feet maybe. Okay. It's really about getting the fly right in front of the fish, leading them. Okay. Fishful Thinker is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, gear up for unforgettable. Lawrence, find, navigate, dominate. This is a very sight intensive thing, guys, so, oh yeah. Nice, good, 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 good. Little strip, little strip, stop, there he is. He didn't get nope. it though. Stop, stop, stop. So when he turns on it, uh -huh. stop. Okay, gotcha. I'm used to keeping it moving yep. just a little bit. So he looked. I didn't feel or see him actually bite it. Uh, that guy. Ah, I didn't throw it. Into him. You don't need to. There you go. Cast again. They're moving left to right. Lead a little. Fish the future. Stop. Strip a little. Stop. Strip a little. Stop. Strip. Oh, right behind you. Other way. Yes, good. Strip a little. Stop. There he is. There. Got him. Got yes, him. Got sweet. him. Got him. Got him. Okay, now I get him I on the reel. I'm to fight him, so I'm not going to go. I get him on the reel. Get him on the reel. Get him on the reel. Okay, I know this one. All right. <laughs> I think the drag is set. So okay. Good. So, guys, I want to point out that I have a severely messed up right elbow right now because I was in Alaska fly fishing for she fish two weeks ago catching 25 pound fish on fly tackle and uh, on an eight weight and it severely messed up my elbow so excuses aside I actually have one and I even have a doctor's note <laughs> to tell me that I'm not supposed to be fly fishing right now I don't accept the doctor's note. right and I got a little one and I'm fine with that don't, it's not that little. <laughs> no, he's pretty little. <laughs> he's pretty little. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Ready? Yep. That is awesome. And you've got a, what'd you say? You've got a weight forward floating line. It's a weight forward, uh, eight weight. It's a saltwater line. Okay. Um, just to give a little more durability, stronger core and uh, better taper for rolling over larger flies. Gotcha, even though we're not. Yep, even though we're not. So, but yeah, we'll it's also warm. Um, quick. You know, on, out here when it's this hot, these saltwater lines hold up better too. They don't get gummy. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. stiffer for yeah. sure. And it can get hot. Yeah, yeah, it can get hot. So we are, it is July to set the scene and water levels are dropping like a rock. We drove over the outlet coming in here and the water levels dropping like mad guys. So the, these carp are offshore. We're in probably what, 10, 12, 15 feet yeah, of water. Fifth, yeah. And the carp are up on the surface. They are. A lot of them are in here eating damsels too. So there's been a big damsel hatch. We're on the kind of the edge of some aquatic vegetation on the side and those damsels are kind of working their way up. There's the one stock. here, get that one right there. <laughs> Dude, this is addicting, guys. This is an addicting way to fly fish right here. And I was really bummed last night and we were putting the final details on this because I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to cast at all. And uh, we're gonna go limited use on my elbow today, but I do wanna get some of it done. But really, guys, this is the guy you wanna watch anyway, not me. Mind your way right here, I'm over your left shoulder. You're good. Okay, I'm just staying out of the way here. And we're in this boat, guys, today, rather than my big ranger, because of this platform, and there's a polling platform behind you guys as well. And that gives him the visibility he needs to be able to see down in the water and spot these fish a little bit better. Okay, I think he's gonna stretch some line out here. Look at these, that's a good throw. Holy crap, that's a long throw. He's gonna come right to it too, isn't he? <laughs> oh, look at those guys, come on. See this happen right here. Got him. Nope, I thought he had him. Ooh, look at the finesse move. Love it. So you think those are refusals or they're just not noticing the bug? I think they're just not noticing it. That's what I feel like as well. They've got enough stuff going on that. Get it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Now you sent me a picture uh, of a bunch of these you caught recently and you've been writing articles on fly fishing for carp. Yeah, for quite a while. Yeah, just wrote one just recently in tac on tactical carp um, for Fly Fusion magazine. and Tactical carp. Yeah. And I think carp get a bad rap in general amongst <laughs> conventional anglers especially. But the funny thing is, is the scientists at Berkeley spend a lot of money to figure out that the smartest fish in fresh water is the <laughs> carp, common carp. Yeah. And uh, so there's that for one. For two, they're super observant of everything in their environment. Oh, that one's gonna eat, no? I thought that one would eat for sure. He looked like he's gonna pull right on it. I got him, yep, I saw that one. <laughs> This is awesome. All right, he's gonna keep tight. Oh, you got your stuff all, that's me fly fishing now. I'm good, I'm <laughs> glad to see that happens to everybody and not just me. Here, I'll get, I'll come up and get it off your graph. You got it? There you go, okay. And the net went here, okay. Even with a bad elbow, I can net. That's one thing I can do. So is there any trick to fighting these guys? Just staying tight. Just staying tight, especially in open water. Dude, the crazy thing is the availability of these all around the country. Why are you guys not doing this more? Especially because 99% of the fly guys, it seems like, are catch and release anyway, right? Totally. If you just want your string pulled. Right, in an eight weight. <laughs> Got him. Okay, that is a good job, Mr. Wagner. Uh, dude. He awesome. makes this look so easy, guys. And look, that fish has got to be what, eight, ten pounds? Yeah. Just a swimming leech. So, umpka swimming leech. Um, really just a black bugger, right? Without um, any bead or anything on it. A uh, little bit of, uh, of burgundy in there and just a touch of flash. And, and there's a number of different patterns you could go a goat leech or a Rickard seal bugger, something like that. But this seems to be the winning color combination. Oh, oh, he no. bit it, he bit it. Or it hit something, one no, or the other. He ate it. Oh, did you see that group off to the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the biggest thing is making sure that you can see the face of the fish and you're casting right in front of their face. Okay, let me get this thing to load up. Can I get that one right there? Is he gonna look? He looked, but he refused it. Ah. So they don't seem to want to turn on the bait per se. Oh man, how did I blow that? Maybe get you back on the rod here again then. Oh, there's fish right there. Did I lead him too much? Yeah, it was a little too much. Okay, so how much in front of them do we want this to be? Um, like within reason, like are we trying to get a foot in front of them? Yeah, I mean, you you need the fly to be six inches a foot in front of their face. Okay, so they're not going to swim a long ways to get they it, per se. They're not going to swim a long ways to get it. Okay. Got you it. get the fly to them, and then when you see them turn on it, stop. Just Pause. stop, stop, okay. Wait for him to eat it, wait for them to come into contact with the fly. And gotcha, then and then set it, okay. And I felt that when I saw what I thought might have been a bite and I pulled on a little bit and there was a little bit of weight there. They didn't spook though. All right guys, we got a couple targets out here. Now this, the guy's casting, you wanna watch because accuracy is your deal, right? I mean, that's your thing. Well, I try to be. Try to be, yeah. So if you've ever been to an International Sportsman's Exposition, this guy does the fly casting or some of the fly casting demos, the exhibitions, the instruction. You're an Orvis certified caster, correct? Oh, there, there you go. I, he's oh, a Bubba certified carp nice. fisherman. I know that. <laughs> oh, nicely done, dude. And leader on here, straight OX, tapered leader, nothing real fancy. Nothing fancy, just fluoro. Yeah. Mainly for, you know, abrasion resistance, but. And it pull the too. fly down a little bit. Yeah. They're feeding on the surface over deep water, and therefore you have a chance at landing a high percentage of them. What's the biggest carp you've landed on a fly rod? Uh, a little, oh, oh farmed one. Off him. That's okay. Okay, careful. Watch this, watch this. Here you go. 
Watch this. Oh, he's going to right to him. Oh, oh, he turned. Got him, got him. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is awesome. Dude, he, he was tying that fly on as those fish were coming to the boat because we just had to retie it. And you could, I mean, that fish just turned fully committed, dude. That was about as committed of a take as you're ever going to get from any species of fish. That was cool. Come on around. Oh, dude, yeah, that's a real nice one. Holy crap. That's how come he was committed. He's like, I got big for a reason. I, get the morning calories. I uh, ate, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Got you. <laughs> okay, easy on the elbow. Now I'll let you handle him. I'll just hold this tight. The cool thing, too, about carp guys is they're durable fish. Yeah. I mean, we're not dealing with baby brookies or something. This this thing's not gonna, you know, if he gets some gets on the carpet, it's harder on the carpet than the fish. Dude, I've not seen a fly that far down a fish's gullet in a while. Nicely done. Is that thing barbless? Probably not for carp. I wouldn't think you'd worry about it. There you go, right in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> now I have Sterling Lake in my ear, but that's okay. <laughs>